The Power of Fire by the Sioux Empire Safety Village. It's next to impossible to find a structure which has been destroyed by the byproducts of fire to use as a public fire prevention and fire safety exhibit. As you know, most of the structures involved in a fire either do not maintain their structural integrity or are not preserved for the sole purpose of education. As far as I know, there are two such structures in existence in the United States. One is located in Maryland, and the other is located at the Sioux Empire Fairgrounds in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. The exhibit is appropriately named the Power of Fire House. The Power of Fire House is a single-family, one-story modular home with three bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's originally from Sioux Falls. In June of 2001, the occupants of the house were waiting for their deep fat fryer to heat up when they heard the tornado sirens. They fled the house to seek shelter from the approaching storm. While away, the fryer ignited and filled the house with hot smoke and gases. A neighbor noticed the smoke and called 911. Upon entering the structure, the firefighters reported the smoke had banked down to knee level. They entered the kitchen and put the fire out with a few gallons of water. After the overhaul, it was apparent that the house was a total loss due to the smoke and steam damage. Dave Renley, a former inspector with Sioux Falls Fire Rescue, noticed several interesting qualities of the house that makes it an excellent learning exhibit. While finding the point of origin, the classic V pattern was obviously visible. There were several plastic bottles sitting on the counter, and the heat caused the tops of the bottles to point to the point of origin. There is a well-defined demarcation line surrounding the fire room as well. A piece of unburned paper is hanging on the wall a few inches beneath a melted phone. The interesting part is that paper ignites at 451 degrees and the phone melts at around 650 degrees. The living room located next to the kitchen shows several temperature indicators in the varying degrees in which items mounted on the wall melted. The temperature in the living room was estimated to be 100 degrees near knee level. Also, the smoke detectors located in the living room are mounted too low to be effective. The master bedroom that is located off the living room shows the importance of keeping bedroom doors closed. The smoke damage is minimal in the bedroom since the door was closed. The only evidence of smoke and steam damage came from a master bathroom where a door leading to the kitchen area was left open an inch or two. With injury prevention and life safety in mind, a nonprofit organization spearheaded by Dave Renley was formed. The organization known as the Sioux Empire Safety Village obtained the Power of Fire house and moved it to the north end of the Sioux Empire Fairgrounds for permanent display. For the past 10 years, the Sioux Empire Safety Village has been giving tours through the Power of Fire house during the Sioux Empire Fair and throughout the year to elementary age school children. The main safety topics presented during the tours are Cooking is the number one cause of fires. Always pay attention while cooking. Stay as low as possible. Stay beneath the hot smoke and toxic gases. Make sure smoke detectors are mounted properly and are in proper working order. Sleep with the door to the bedrooms closed. Have an escape plan and practice it with all members of the household. Whether it's fire prevention or fire safety topics to discuss with people of your community, the Power of Firehouse shows real-life examples of them all.